You will now learn how to set the microphone in Adobe Audition. Go to Adobe Audition settings and go to audio hardware. You should always check the settings before recording to prevent the mistake of recording with the wrong microphone. To set the microphone, you have to focus on audio hardware. The microphone is set in the default input. You will get a list of microphones in the drop-down. At this moment, the MacBook Pro microphone is selected for recording. It is also the system default. You should be aware of this system default. System default means the input set on your computer. If you change the input from your sound settings in the computer, the system default will show another microphone. However, you have to check if this part shows the desired microphone name. If not, then you have to select that microphone. Let me explain. You may see many microphones in this list that you don't recognize. Those are virtual microphones, and you do not need to worry about them. Find your microphone name on the list. If you do not see your connected microphone name in the list, then close Adobe Audition and open it again. The microphone name may not appear straightforward. In that case, you have to know what name it is showing. For example, I have a Samson USB mic connected to my computer. It is showing in the list. If I want to use this microphone for recording, I have to select it. I also have another microphone connected to my audio interface. That microphone is a Sennheiser Dynamic Mic, but you will not see that name in the list. Instead, we can see the Scarlett Audio Interface name here. If your microphone is connected through an audio interface or audio mixer, you will see the name of that device, not the microphone name. I will select Scarlett 2i2 USB for recording. After selecting the microphone, you may see a warning message. This warning message is about channel mapping. Channel mapping is a bit of an advanced thing, and unless you are using a mixer for advanced sound effects, it is not a thing to worry about. Click yes, and the microphone will be set. You can see the Scarlett 2i2 USB is now set as the default input. I will keep the other things as they are and click OK. You can check the input levels of the current microphone by double-clicking on the input level box. This video only explains how to set the microphone in Adobe Audition. I have other videos on details of input level and recording best practices. I will put a link in the description and you can check it out more. I can now record any audio and the microphone I set earlier will be used for recording. This is the recording process in the waveform editor. The process of recording in a multi-track editor is a bit different. There is also some processing needed to make your recording better. I have a PDF guide where I explain all the necessary steps to make your sound better. You can get this PDF sent to your email by subscribing to my newsletter. At the end of description, you will find link to join my mailing list. If you are looking for a step-by-step -step course in Adobe Audition, you can take my Adobe Audition course. You will get all the necessary links in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you next!